Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. Yes, I am back talking about Marvel Heroes Omega once again. We are back here, ladies and gentlemen. We're here, and there's more things and changes along the way for the 30th of June. And guys, I I didn't know that this was going to start from whenever I put up the first couple of videos. The, the, the 25 loot crates that were horribly, horribly bad. Then the improved 25 loot crates that actually had a slightly better drop rate, but still weren't amazing, but were a definite improvement over the uh, the loot drops that I was getting literally 24 hours previous on the 13th of June. But now they've changed the whole plan all again. So as you can see here, last chance on individual costumes. On the 30th of June, the costumes are going to be removed from the actual Bible store in G's will no longer be able to actually buy the G's or use the G's to buy these costumes flat out, right? That, that'll, that'll no longer be available to us as players. But there's a rationalization to it because they're going to shift all the costumes into the Marvelous Suit crates. Now, that sounds like a terrible idea. It, it is and it isn't because they're planning to actually have it so that for a one-time deal, whenever you go from level 5 to 15 to 25 to 30 to 50 and then to 60, you get a crate each time. Uh, this is the first time you do it. And then every 60 after that, for any other character, you get another crate. Now, that doesn't give you a lot of crates to work with if you think about the amount of characters and heroes that are available. Now, that's like, like we'll do the count. So, essentially, you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 36, there's 36 characters, is there? Yeah, there's 36. I wasn't even paying attention there when I was doing the count. So 36 characters, you get four for your first one. Oh, well, you get five for your first one, really. You get four and then the one for the 60. And then you have um, 34 other characters, 35 other characters. So you want to get one, four. So in total, you're going to get about 40 crits. No. With the drop rate being changed and the number of costumes increased, 40 crates, even if you actually already have the costume for a character you don't already own or you, whenever you pull it out of the box, you're still going to get probably an about 300 to 400 uh, Marvelous Essence. Like that's, that, I mean, my, my work down on the last uh, drop of 25 was about 225 Marvelous Essence. And let's just take a wee look into um, Moon Dragon's little uh, boudoir of materials to buy. Skins here look at about 100 uh, Marvelous Essence each. There is ones that are worth more, I'm checking. See, yep, things like Spider Man's Iron Man Spider being 140. Enhanced costumes will cost more. They were going to cost more. They cost about 1400 Gs anyway. So for a 14, uh, so for 140 costume, you can go, probably going to pick up one of those. I'd say. In the 40 crates, you're probably going to have enough to buy two costumes, one enhanced and one normal. And that's uh, that, that that's for you to be able to buy two costumes for the character that you want at that particular time. And then there's going to be a whole thing about the rotation of the characters and rotation of the costumes are going to be around for you to get. Now, that is an odd drop system. That's not... Uh, that's... That, uh... Gazillion Games, I am very, very happy that you are making changes. You are actively trying other methods. This is a, this re is much more reminiscent of the um, the free loot crates that you get from Overwatch or from Battleborn or from uh, Smite or from just any of the standard games that actually kind of use crate drops and cards and Paladins as well to actually uh, encourage you to repeat play and to actually make use of... Um, I just bought... I thought there for a second that I might have bought something that I didn't even plan to buy. Um, gives you a chance to repeat play to encourage your players to come back to you and increase their, their wealth inside the game and keep going. Now, that's fine. We've already... like we, that, That's already settled us down into um, a pattern. We know what we're going to be doing with uh, the characters after now. We know what we're going to be doing with the loot, loot, Marvelous Loot Crits and the Marvelous Essence, which of course, uh, my, not unless I forget to remind you, no longer drops in like packs of five or four per crate. You get four per crate, 
but could get 25, 50, multiple 25s on a single crate. I think the best I got was 70, no, was it 55? No, it was something, it was something like 74 or something like that in a single crate. It was like the four, two 25s, a 10. Yeah, it was 74, I think it was, yeah. Or 20. Uh, whatever it was it was an it was a big drop of marvel essence i almost got a costume in that one crate alone just from the multiple drops of the essence so um outside of that we've got oh, let's see do, can, we can't go back to them that's damn annoying do you know you can go on the front page it gives you a list of all the changes in fact do you know what i'll do here i'll do this boom that's a little bit more effective so this is the post that they posted up on the gazillion forums to kind of detail out what was going on and uh people are still very confused i mean there's nine ten pages in that thread that show a lot of confusion where people are still asking like wait so i have to buy every single crit so I, there's no way no there's no way to play this free to play i'm like mm, there is a way dude you can still buy you still can buy characters with uh splinters it's costumes and customization are going to have to be got through marvelous assets so essentially by separating out practical function items with um custom uh, customization items and then still having your bonus kind of like uh, get things quicker stuff running through the marvelous essence as well so xp boosts uh shield supply drop boosts those kind of things are all going through that way it works theoretically and we're going to see if the game can actually carry it but there's one more little oh damn it there we go one more little surprise for us out there check it out bundles so We've previously already had bundles for the Avengers, for the X-Men, for Spider-Man, for Deadpool, and we had Daredevil as a free download, and we've had War Machine as a PS Plus exclusive. But the rest of the starter crew have all gotten a bundle pack that is paid for in Gs rather than actually in real money, which was the founder packs for the open beta to get people in. And those founder packs included Gs, up to a certain value like i think it was two thousand three thousand in some of the packs mattering the number of characters price of the pack it was and this and again with those packs you also got an alternate costume with the character you bought so to reduce your chances of getting costumes you don't want and if you specifically want to get the non loot crate exclusive costumes you can buy these character packs for a limited time only uh the avengers launch pack the avengers launch bundle for five thousand g's the cosmic launch bundle for 2500 g's the marvel knights launch bundle for 4000 g's and the rest of the x-men which is the one i was hoping for because i was holding back on buying any more of the x-men characters after the original x-men pack i was going like, why the hell is scott not in the x-men pack why is colossus on the x-men pack why were these people left out it's because the pack was probably going to be too expensive for anybody to buy all of them at once this was 4500 g's to get my main girl kitty pride I got my kitty pride and she's got her age of apocalypse costume inside this pack and i'm damn delighted but the side effect to that was that i already bought magic for the purposes of getting my synergies so whenever i completed that i got a box of 50 marvelous essence and a character upgrade or ultimate upgrade token for magic so even if you already own the characters involved in this they give you a marvelous essence box for that character so 50 marvelous essence essentially for the price of the for, for the price of the character at 900 g's which if i can remember correctly is the price of four marvelous marvelous boxes so for the price of the character you get 50 marvelous essence. not a great trade-off but if you've already bought the character through uh splinters and other things it's essentially a bonus to it because otherwise whenever you're buying those bundles everything's like 50 percent off because you're getting a costume and a character which is about 1800 g's each for each one of them so yeah it it, it works out reasonably well so they they've got a smart system going on here but i don't know how well they can maintain it forever next thing we need to start seeing is the creature comforts the expansions of the characters the expansion of the game so we have more characters in, and we have more games in, which is interesting enough because literally just this week I saw that there has been characters removed from the PC version because licensing has no longer allowed them to be sold by uh, Gazonian Games, which means we are literally never ever going to get the Fantastic Four or Silver Surfer character characters. That's a team of five, five characters that we will never have because of licensing agreements. 
and that's massively disappointing because the PC players have had the chance to buy them and they're like literally like scrambling to get the characters before they disappear and all of the Fantastic Four costumes as well before they disappear. But we're obviously in the console market. We're not going to have a chance to do so before they disappear for good. So what happens next with the development of the game is their storylines they're not going to be allowed to use as their characters that they won't be allowed to interact with. Is there no campaign content to be added on if we can't see those characters being used? I'm assuming it's because they can't, like, characters like Doctor Doom is still in it because he's part of the story campaign. But Reed Richards and the rest of the team aren't going to be there. So, I don't know. Uh, Gazillion have a juggling match to do with this game and uh, a, a fairly unsettled player base. But I'm still having fun. I'm actually still enjoying it, especially whenever me and friends get into this game together. I've been really enjoying that. But we've still got a lot of experience to go through. We've still got a lot of things to play and try out. And I hope that we will have so much more adventures in the future in the world of Marvel Heroes Omega. But I don't know what comes next. You tell me. If you're a PC fan, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if, uh, I know us console peasants don't really kind of like qualify in your purview for this game because you guys have suffered it all for years, what, four years? Um, but we're all starting to get to learn what's going on here. But Gazillion, guys, thank you very much for actually making the changes. I was so happy to see that happen. I was so confused and surprised to have to see it happen right after I put up the videos. But um, yeah, this is actually, this is what must be an overarching plan you were doing before the full uh, full big launch of the game. So um, thank you very much for watching, guys. If you actually have any thoughts, comments about what Gazillion Games are doing, make sure to drop them in the comments thread underneath or share this video and comment in your own way to wherever place you desire to do so. If you enjoyed me talking about Marvel Heroes Reborn and you want to hear more or you want to hear about any other games that I talk about here on the channel, hit the subscribe button up there or the uh, bell down here or the follow over there or wherever the hell it is that you can find a way to keep track of me. And if you don't want to do that, just Google Pastiche of Skin. It's right here underneath my face. Like, I'm not trying to hide. It's easy to find me. The name's right there. So, um, yeah, uh, the last thing to talk about is the box is popping up. This will be a playlist of previous episodes on the channel. This will be actually the most recent video on the channel. And this will be a video dedicated to you that is based on your interests and tastes. And you should check it out. And if you feel like an absolute badass in the world, you should check me out on Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash pastiche of skin. It's taking off. And there'll be more stuff specifically for fans on there. So thank you very much for watching. And I will see all you dudes in the next cash grab. Bye.